Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to BSOD Gaming. So with the release of CMU 1.10.0 and the fact that Smash Bros 4 now fully works within CMU, I wanted to make this video showing you guys how you can add all of the DLC and all of the DLC characters and stages to Smash 4. For the purpose of this video, we are going to be using Maple Seed V2. I will have it linked down in the description. In order to get your games to appear like we see here, we need to come over to Control Panel and on this bottom line, we need to have the directory for our latest CMU version linked and on the top line, you need to have the directory for your downloaded and extracted games linked. Once you have these directories correctly entered, when we come back to the library tab, your games should properly appear as they do so here. The next thing you want to do is right click on your Smash Brothers. As you can see here, the latest update is not listed. In order to get the latest update, we need to come to control panel and in this box here, we need to enter 304. Once we have entered 304, come back to library, right click on Smash Bros and click update to 304 custom. Click yes and when we come over to the log panel you can see the title version 304 is being downloaded. We now need to wait for all of this content to download and as you can see on the bottom here it is now decrypting our data. Let's wait for this to finish. Perfect! Now that it has finished downloading we need to come back to library and add the DLC. Right click once again on Smash Bros for Wii U and click plus DLC. Click yes and when we navigate back to the log panel we can see that it is downloading DLC title version 96 and it is now downloading and decrypting the data. In all likelihood it most likely will take a lot longer for you to download and decrypt this DLC data as I previously had it downloaded and stored on my computer. Let's now launch Smash Bros and make sure that the DLC has been added correctly. Launch CMU, come to file, load and let's navigate over to our extraction folder. This is located on CDisk, Helper EX, Smash Bros for Wii U, Code and let's load the RPX for our game. When you first launch after this DLC has been added, you should get confirmation like this on screen that these characters have been added to the game. You will also receive confirmation that the stages have been added to the game along with quite a few me and character customization items and alternative costumes for said characters. When we load into the character selection menu you can see here that all of our new and favorite characters have been added to Smash Bros 4. When we navigate on over into the next screen after selecting our character we will also see that the bonus stages such as Midgar and Hyrule Castle have also been added. And there we go, as you can see on this screen our new stages have been added. What kind of a Final Fantasy 7 fan would I be though if I didn't always play on Midgar? As always guys, cheers for checking out the video, I hope you found it useful. Remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.